guys how you doing jp sorry colia here now normally this channel concentrates a lot on reviewing statues but also i am a big fan of action figures so from time to time i need to review action figures i need to talk about them i react to it and preview whatever information is new whatever is cool out there that is really uh you know catching my attention so for that reason i'm here at scishow because now they have a new gambit deluxe six scale figure and this is produced by SciShow, and in my opinion, this is one of the best figures they have produced on the Marvel line so far. Perhaps this is the best. So we're looking at this. Uh, as you can see, it comes with two portraits. The price for this is $265, which is not bad for a six scale figure. Uh, the estimate arrival for this is between October and December of next year, so it gives you plenty of time. And we're going to skip the information because we know Gambit, but we're going to read the artist's information. Jay Park and Ray are the sculptors. Wan Lee is the painter. Uh, Nan Hoon Kim, also a painter. Uh, Mi Jing Nam Gung, uh, custom fabrication and the SciShow design and development team. Now, on the information, what's inside the box, you get a comic-inspired Gambit head sculpt, swappable short hair and long hair for two display options. Black bodysuit with pinkish purple square detailing on sleeves and legs. Brown trench coat. Sculpted upper body armor. Eight pair of hands, including two pair of fists, glowing and non-glowing. Uh, two pair of grip hands, glowing and non-glowing. Uh, two pairs of throwing hands, glowing and non-glowing. And two pairs of card grip hands, also glowing and non-glowing. You also get silver armor boots. Uh, triple card throwing effect. Four aces with painted glow effect. And a staff. All right, now we're looking at the pictures, and I'm telling you this. This is a very nice-looking Gambit figure. I really love, the, in this case, the sculpt in the face, and I love the trench coat. I love everything they have done with this figure. Now, as you know, SciShow has been working with Hot Toys for a very long time. They distribute worldwide many of the figures, uh, everything that actually Hot Toys produces, which is really cool looking. Uh, Hot Toys is definitely on the top of the food chain. And many other companies are really, you know, they're really working really hard. Hot Toys is the standard when it comes about figures. But SciShow has, throughout the years, has done figures as well. Actually, even before they had a partnership with Hot Toys, they were producing G.I. Joe figures, and those were amazing. And up to this day, there I haven't really seen that many great G.I. Joe figures. Uh, SciShow really did a fantastic work with them. Um, unfortunately, they just don't do it anymore. But, you know, eventually they started doing other figures and they started doing the Marvel stuff. And I got to be honest with you, I wasn't crazy about, about many of these figures. But I think this changes with Gambit, in my opinion. Although I was a big fan of the Deadpool figure that in my opinion was amazing one of the best deadpool comic book inspired uh, deadpool figures out there and uh, it was really well received but um i i love this figure and i love the the two head sculpts that they did with this one um you know some of the figures they have produced here like the magneto the wolverine i haven't been crazy about him there's something missing uh, of course they're not based on television or movie representation so it's all about pretty much the artistic vision here the sculptor has to pretty much come up with something and uh and for some reason most of them have been a, a, a hit or miss uh, but i i believe that uh gambit has the upper hand i love this two interchangeable heads i love this one um the more modern version and also love the classic jim lee style very nice love the glowing hands and the effect there it's really cool he's holding the staff this is a very nice figure for sure i really like the detail here um i think gambit has always had some of the best looking collectibles in the world statues sideshow has produced pr pretty much some of the best statues uh in my opinion um you know i've seen so many great statues from gambit in all different sizes uh, but this figure i think is one of the best looking figures i've seen so far Look at that. I love the uh, glowing effect in the eyes. Really well done. The paint job is well done. Love the trench coat. Um, really cool. The detail with the single energy card. Now with the staff. That's a very uh, shiny uh, metallic staff and looks great. I love the, the detail here. The metallic boots and all of that. Very accurate with the comics. Like this one. 
really like it this is a very nice figure for sure love the detail and this the throwing cards is an it's a nice effect but this is a very common effect in a lot of the figures like even in the smaller figures like marvel legends or marvel select they all have this throwing effect um i seen statues doing that which is i think everybody copies each other on that um love that the glowing effect i love this with the hands it's really cool that effect is really really cool and here you see everything that comes with this you get the staff the pretty much the throwing effect the triple card throwing effect the front and the back of the scars they are pretty much charged with energy and you get the hands the regular hands and glowing hands the trench coat this is a very nice figure and i definitely love the price point on this one i'm telling you the the, the figure is good the 265 is a really nice price and the figure is excellent all right and before I go, I want to show you other figures that are on pre-order from the, uh, strictly from SciShow collectibles produced by SciShow. And you get this, the pretty much this horror team. You have the leather face, the Michael Meyer Deluxe. You got the ghost face. Those were, those were present and the New York SciShow Con. Uh, we also have the Harley Quinn that is on pre-order. That looks great too. The Cyclops that is, I think it's going to be released. It was supposed to be released this month or... I think between this month and next month, so I'm guessing it's gonna be sometime next month that you're gonna get this. I love I love the coat. I love the leather jacket, but I'm not necessarily love the figure per se. But it's fine. He looks kind of too skinny in my opinion. The Daredevil Shadow Line, those are for, for sale, and uh, it's fine. Um, you know, you can see that Batman the Noir version. You also get this Lando Calrissian. This is also, you know, uh, on pre-order. There's some, some stuff that they have produced for Star Wars that is on pre-order. Uh, they're not bad. I wouldn't say that they're as good as what Hot Toys produces, but they're they're great and the price is great. This Wolverine, it's not bad. Actually, I prefer this version over the or uh, previous version of the first Wolverine they produce with the more classic suit. I think I like this one more. They did some improvements to it uh the wonder woman but to be honest with you most of these figures are fine but they don't compete as well with hot toys but in the other hand these are based on comic book characters uh, and not necessarily on the movie version so that's good uh you get the luke skywalker right there you get the ov1 kenobi that's actually a pretty good figure so there's some pre-orders as you can see darth vader and the prices are fine and there you go. Here's, here's Deadpool. Definitely one of the best or perhaps the best figure they have produced so far. But in my opinion, Gambit is up there right now uh, in competition with it. This is a very good figure. It doesn't really come with so many, uh, I would say, switch outs. You know, it has some switch outs with the hands. But I think it's well done. And I, I really like the price. So I would say if you're into figures, you know, if you love statues, but you also love figures. Or if you don't love statues, but you care about figures and you're watching this video... I, I do think this is a great figure to add to your collection. And I'm sure a lot of people are excited for this and are they're going to pre-order. Now, let me know how you feel about it. Do you like this piece? Do you think it's a good representation of Gambit? Or do you think that Saishio missed it uh, with this one? Let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.